Update 17. Think my mom's whole family is helping her cheat on my father, and she has left us. Initial post. Slash slash wood. Dot reddit dot com slash slash relationships slash comments slash later three one slash i seventeen think of my mum's whole family shelping slash but sources show of medium web I want to thank all the people who voted my first post so that I was able to receive help from other people who I also wanna thanks you guy so my mum returned today and she was horrible she said she left because she was miserable being with my father and basically as kids i was also presenting the argument that assumed upon her arrival and during my chance to voice my concern over her leaving how it affected me and my younger siblings she seemed to make it all about her and how much she just needed to get away not even caring about what i said despite the fact that i was shedding tears over her or anyone's words for that matter my father has told me that he has pondered on whether or not he should leave my mum but even after she threw baseless accusations of him cheating on her and never doing anything good for her, which my whole family knows is true, I know he still loves her and probably won't leave her. This is something I cannot understand. I was never truly fond of my mum, but this situation has finally allowed me to truly see my mother for who she is, and I've decided that she is no longer officially my mother. I've plans to get a job soon, and all money I make will be saved for college and a place to move into as I had planned to do with a friend. I'm also planning on taking my little sibling away with me when I become financially stable, and if she ever expresses that she does not want to live with my parents. The soonest I have a chance to go no contact with my mum, I will take it my faith in her was never really present, but now the chance for it ever is gone. My older sibling wishes to bring our mum back into a healthy family, but I'm not as kind as them, and so I will play nice until I am no longer in need of my family's full support. Also, my mother's siblings can rot in a corner. They were of no help whatsoever. Also, one thing to note, my mother wanted my father to get her off the family phone plan so that she could get one of her own so year in sure she would never change. Again, I just want to say thanks to all of you guys who came to help. Your kindness will not go unrewarded. Oh, too long. Don't read my mum is back, and nothing will ever be the same. Edit, thanks again to the people who once again upgraded so the people in the comments could also share some pieces of advice for me. Serious, hopefully anyone who sees this post in search of help for a similar situation is doing okay and can find the strength to overcome it. Hey man, stay strong and good luck. You seem to be looking at this situation with very open eyes. I know you were afraid to tell your father that you thought your mother was cheating on him. Which I get. Your poor father is in love with her ghost. Who she was when they fell in love. It's sad because if they had never met and he was introduced to the woman she is now, he wouldn't possibly feel the same way. For whatever it's worth to you, She's definitely cheating. I know you were worried about telling your father about the phone call you overheard because you didn't have any other proof. But she is. She is displaying all the classic behaviours, making herself the victim, claiming that your father is cheating, disappearing for unexplained blocks of time, becoming irrationally angry when asked to explain herself, etc. And the phone thing is the cherry on the sundae. It doesn't even make sense to want that. But doing that does make it even easier to hide in fight of it. On a family plan, your father can access phone records to identify common reoccurring phone numbers and actually investigate. In my state, it's perfectly legal to install tracking software on a partner's phone on a shared plan. Then you can watch all of her texts on dad's phone and begin to gather actual evidence that is perfectly admissible evidence in court. It's not spying on someone else because it's considered your phone when it's part of a shared plan. The other thing that your mother may be wishing to accomplish by getting her own phone is that she's starting to actively plan on leaving your father, and it's just one of the many things that they share together, such as savings account, mortgage cards, credit cards, assets, etc. It's not adverse. I just wanted to reassure you that you are right about your mother's infidelity and whatever you feel towards her. I'm so sorry that you're dealing with this. 